Hi, I'm Veronica Vance. Coming up, we hit the River Rock for Detroit River Days, show you some great summer events you won't want to miss, and then we explore the Michigan Science Center, so stay tuned. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau, driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com. Another great happening in downtown Detroit, and it's all happening right in front of the Renaissance Center along the Detroit River. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's a dog! This exhibit is the ultimate air dogs, and these dogs go flying through the air, and if you stay on too close, you're gonna get the splash. Well, how cool is this? They have helicopter rides here for just a small fee. You get about a five to 10 minute ride, and what they do is they take you over all around downtown. They take you over Comerica Park, they take you down to the Ambassador Bridge, you come back along the river, you get to see the riverfront. This is so cool. Well, this is a fantastic event here on the beautiful Detroit riverfront. We have all kinds of things for people of all ages. We have national, acts coming in on multiple different stages all happening at the same time we have children's shows we have a discovery zone for kids as you can see out on the water we have the jet skis we have boat rides for people helicopter rides i mean it's happening in the sky on the water on the land it's just really a fun fun event you know so much of the event is free all the concerts are free there's you know the children's events are free um and so it's a great place to be for family. What about food? I mean, you come down what here. What about food? Well, <laughs> Detroit has fabulous food, yeah. as you know. We yeah. have great ethnic food. And people can choose from literally dozens of very fine restaurants who brought their booths here and are actually cooking on site. And so the food is spectacular. And then you mentioned, too, for the little kids, the Discovery Zone. What is what can we find in the Discovery Zone like? The Discovery Zone has crafts and art for kids. Children can learn all about the environment and the environmental aspects of the river, so it's a learning. The parade company is um, has these great booths, and children are actually helping create a float that will be in the parade this year. Really? Really, and oh, so wow. they're having a blast doing that as well. And talking about fun. You can see the fountain, <laughs> it's just great fun here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I is, see some of the kids came ready with their swimsuits They on. did, it's enjoyed <laughs> by, uh, by, by both uh, children, adults, and pets. We have a number of celebrities that come to the uh, festival. Mm -hmm. um, Coach Krzyzewski to NASCAR drivers to uh, obviously our uh, performing artists. Mm -hmm. So it's just a great event for everyone. So you don't know who you might see when you're down here. You never know who you might see. <laughs> GM has so many vehicles out here. It's like a little mini auto show, except it's free. Well, how would you like to drive home in one of these babies tonight? Cadillac has their newest models out here, and bonus, you can get your picture taken with it, too. Yeah, you can even be a race car driver for a day. And of course, the star of the whole show is the Riverwalk. You can come out here, cool off, get the breeze from the river, and relax from all the action going on at the festival. Seventy-five percent of the three and a half miles is now open. What is the name of this new plaza that we're standing on? Well, this is the Rivard Plaza, and this is really the centerpiece of the entire Riverwalk. It's so much fun. We've got the carousel, which is spectacular. We've got uh, the fountains for the kids to play in. Then we've got concessions. You, know, you can bring your kids down here, have a ride on the carousel, have an ice cream, rent a rollerblades or a bike. It really is just a lot of fun. People are already out here, and it's packed. The carousel is permanent, right? The carousel is permanent, and we're really excited about it. I mean, it's uh, it's a terrific uh, feature for the kids, full of families. So in the summer months, I mean, not just during festivals, you, kids can come down, what, like, 
weekdays, weekends, 10 Absolutely. to 8, just come Absolutely. and ride the carousel. Come on down and enjoy it. So where are these fountains that the kids can play? Well, the fountains are right here. You can see already. Oh. We got a little guy in there this morning. So you encourage, encourage people to actually <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, to what cool a nice off. way to cool off on a hot afternoon, huh? <laughs> it's just, uh, it's great. And what's great about this is, I mean, the festival is six days, which is fun. It's annual. But this part is great too because it's for, it's all the time, and people can come down here and they really are discovering the waterfront in a way that they've never been able to do before. Yes, it's, I am I'm very impressed. Can you not love you it? You can't. Out here? You can't. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better spot. Well, Matt, thank you so much. I'm thank here. you for coming down. Yeah, take a look at the festival, and we'll be back when the river walks. Enjoy yourselves okay. and be here next year as well. It'll be better than ever. Okay. All right. be without a carnival. They've got carnival games and rides here, but they've got just the right balance to blend in with all the other activities, so it doesn't feel like one big carnival, but just a whole lot of fun. They have so many rides for the little ones here. It truly is great family fun. Oh, you've got your future NBAers right here on full-size basketball courts. I'd give it a try, but I'm saving my arm for the big game. Don't want to do it hard. Only I brought a change of clothes. Oh my God. Okay, I'm talking about the food. This burger here is called the Oh My God Burger. It's one pound of meat. This is just a little introduction to the food. Some of the food they have here at River Days. Oh My God Burgers, these humongous, humongous kielbasa, corn on the cob, and it goes on and on down the line here. Look at Woo! this. From the gourmet deli, we've got some chicken wings, ribs, chicken, and some sausage with peppers. This smells so yummy. Mmm. Oh, yum. Oh, these are spectacular. I have found my new favorite summertime tradition, the Detroit River Days. I've had a blast here. Everybody's so friendly. It's just the right size. The food is great. Just the right amount of rides. And of course, the most spectacular view, the Detroit River.
Hey, with winter in our rear view mirror and summer just around the corner, here in the D, that means great weather and big fun. So, to help you prepare, I'm going to give you a list of great places and events not to miss this summer season. Detroit is unofficially Sports Town USA, so when it warms up, it means tiger season. Head to Comerica Park, one of the greatest venues in the country to watch a game. It is an entire entertainment center. Now for an entirely different sport, how about women's roller derby? Take a look at the Detroit Derby Girls, then check out their schedule so you can get up close and personal to all the action. It's full contact, okay. so it's similar to hockey, it's yeah. not staged like wrestling. Um, so you can have full body contact from your shoulder to your elbow and then your entire hip and like, you know, most of the, the side of your body is there. Um, what you won't see or you'll see get called as penalties are back blocks, right? So there's no frontward to backward movement of me shoving an opponent in the back. We have seven referees out on the track at one time during the game, all watching different people in different packs or the jammer, the person that's scoring, different things. So you'll see them whistle, blow them off. They go to the penalty box for one minute. And if you keep, continue to go to the box for seven turns, you're ejected. You don't get to skate the game anymore. Now, every July, you'll want to soak up some of that summer sun at the APBA Gold Cup races. It's hydroplanes, it's noisy, and it's one weekend in July that you'll want to spend along the banks of the river. So the Ross family from Seattle, you come here every year for this event? Yes, we do. So what's the draw? What, what is so exciting about it? What makes you come? Well, the race, of course, but it's more than the race. It's the city. We like the diversity of Detroit, the restaurants, the... We're staying at an awesome hotel. And we're having a great day I, I, I down think, here. I think the best thing in the world. <laughs> the best thing in the world, and you guys got your autographed race flag. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Good we're docked right over at Keynes, and the. Watching oh, so the you guys races. drove up on your with your by boat? boat yeah. With my boat, yes. Yeah. Stayed yeah. for the weekend and watched the races. Summer in the D also means Auto Palooza. This is the greatest ongoing car event in the nation. Currently, there are 16 and counting amazing shows, cruises, and events. Now, it all kicks off with the Chevrolet Detroit Belle Isle Grand Prix at the end of May and continues on until late September. Now, we're talking about world-class events like the Quicken Loans 400 NASCAR Weekend at the MIS Speedway in Brooklyn, Motor Muster at Greenfield Village, the Concours d'Elegance of America in Plymouth, the Woodward Dream Cruise, and many more. This is the D, and we know cars and how to show them off, and I challenge you to check out as many as you can. You want to get out on the water yourself, but you don't have a boat? No worries, take a cruise. Start your summer off on board the Detroit Princess. We have four floors of dining rooms. Uh, we're actually five floors high, if you include the fifth oh. deck up there, which is where the, pilot, where the captain steers the boat. Okay. Um, the four levels of dining rooms, all different sizes. People can either rent a dining room to themselves, the whole boat to themselves, or you can just come on as a couple and enjoy one of our themed cruises. We have Motown shows, murder mysteries, blues bands, Margaritaville parties where it's a Jimmy Buffett theme style cruise. And now does the whole does the whole boat take on that theme or is it each floor is a different theme? How does it different work? Different floors have different themes those nights. Okay. Um, just depends on what's going on. Our Motown review has been one of the most popular acts, yeah. um, especially if they come to town with a family reunion. It's a great way for them to bring out their family, show off Detroit, show off all the skyline, and give them a taste of Motown music in Detroit as oh, well. Oh, sure, what a great idea. And we've got more cruises. For a night you'll never forget, jump on board the Ovation Yacht for one of their summer cruise series. Just got on board, and when you get on board, they've got the food hot and ready and waiting for you. It's replenished throughout the evening. They got the music playing, and the fun is just starting. Tonight's our urban country theme, and we've got about 300 guests coming on that are from all over Detroit, people in from out of town where corporations buy tickets for their guests. They want them to experience the Detroit River. It's an international waterway, so a lot of people can't fathom that there's a whole other country right there across the river. Yeah, so, How long does a cruise typically It's last? about a three and a half hour cruise. So, and then we've got some dockside time. So, and it's, it's a great time. A lot of people actually come and stay at the Marriott here because they just want to make an evening of it. And, uh, you know, it's a nice Wednesday night. 
and uh, got the babysitters and yeah. they're good to go. And of course there is the Diamond Jack with not one but two different cruises. So you have a choice. You can either take your cruise along downtown Detroit or downriver where it departs from Winda. But my advice is to try both. Of course, there are so many weekend events to take in, I can't name them all, but some of the biggies are the Target Fireworks, featuring the largest display of fireworks in the country. Then there's the Downtown Hoedown, Movement, the African World Fest, and toward the end of the summer, the Detroit Jazz Festival. Again, these are only a handful, so check out the web often for a summer full of fun. Now, outside of cities, such as in Macomb County, we've got Lake St. Clair with all those lakeside events, fishing and boating expos like the Bass Pro Shops Northern Expo. It's really a great family event and it's set up right along the canal so kids can come out and see what the fishing's all about, get excited, root on for their favorite angler. It's just a good time. So. Now in Oakland County, we've got Arts, Beats and Eats, which is a weekend full of, well, Arts, Beats and Eats. Incredible art from around the country. 33 states are represented with artists. Uh, jewelry, ceramics, pottery, painting, uh, photography and more. Uh, great restaurants, uh, 60 restaurants from around Oakland County and Detroit, uh, from Italian, tapas, uh, Irish, uh, you name the food, we got it uh, going on. And then music, 200 bands, 1,500 musicians from around Detroit perform, and great national artists from around the country. Uh, add some family fun to that, a carnival, moonwalks, uh, and more, and it benefits a lot of local charities. And it's a great celebration throughout Oakland County. Wayne County and the Novi District are also bursting with summer events. We've got inland lake cruises, such as the one found in Kensington Metro Park, and if you have a boat, you can slip out into the lower river and cruise down to Lake Erie. And of course, the incredible Henry Ford offers spectacular 4th of July celebration. But the point is, Summer in the D offers a lot of things to do. And my advice is to get out there, explore, discover, and jump in. There are plenty of things to see and do in Metro Detroit this month, and our calendar of events is up next to point you in the right direction. Escape to Margaritaville aboard the Ovation Yacht, then participate in Sprint and Splash at Lake St. Clair Metro Park. Watch NASCAR drivers compete for a trip down Victory Lane and celebrate all things strawberry in downtown Belleville. Fire up those engines for cruise and crash in East Point, then take a cruise down memory lane at Motor Muster. This year's Eyes on Design car show theme is pop culture, and New Baltimore's Fish Fly Festival ends with fireworks. Have fun on land and water during Detroit River Days, and the Science Center hosts a hands-on Stingray Cove. Celebrate the good old red, white, and blue at the Ford Fireworks and then at the Stars and Stripes Festival at Freedom Hill. Get a peek at your dream car at Cruisin' Downriver and the Edsel and Eleanor Ford House transforms into Neverland. To learn of any changes, log on to visitdetroit.com or call 1-800-DETROIT. Hey, guess where I'm at? The Michigan Science Center in downtown Detroit. It's a lot of fun. This kind of stuff is always fun. See how the flow of electricity happens. Get a little zap. It's like touching lightning in a bottle. Look at that, how I'm controlling it. Isn't that neat? So this is the entrance to the Fun Factory. And it looks hot and it actually feels hot. This tunnel I'm walking through, and it leads into, well, it looks like an actual factory once you're in here. Explaining how all kinds of things work. Again, making science fun. So we see what's behind the wrapping refrigerator. <laughs> Demonstrating all the healthy foods. This whole area in the front is all about nutrition, eating healthy. Well, this looks like a lot of fun for the kids. All those forbidden areas you actually get to participate in. Okay, ready? Oh my goodness, wow. That's kind of disorienting. <laughs> So behind me
me they're doing a show at the Chrysler Center stage and they make it really interactive and they're teaching kids all about physics in a fun way. They're letting them participate. What brought you guys to Michigan Science Center today? Well, I'm from Connecticut and I come visit my friend in Michigan. And my niece and her two children come from Illinois to visit here, so we wanted to take in some sights. So what do you think about it? I think oh, it's I, wonderful. I think it's phenomenal. It's really, really, everything is really nice, very educational, very hands-on. The kids can do a lot of stuff. Yes, yeah. you learn so much when you're you doing do. it yourself. We have over 250 hands-on exhibits, our live stage shows, including the Toyota Engineering Theater, our, we call it our double dome experience with our planetarium and IMAX Dome Theater. Well, can you take me on a tour if we go check it out? Let's go check it out. So Carrie, we're on the lower level and you've got this whole exhibit. What kind of things do you do in this area? This, the lower area of the Science Center is our main floor for our hands-on exhibits. We have the lower portion of our space gallery way over that way because it's two levels. And then we also have our DTE Energy Science Sizzle and Spark exhibits and then also our Waves and Vibrations gallery that has everything that are light exhibits to jam, jam room. Jam yes. room, okay. Yeah, I Where they get to play guitars there, yeah. and drums. Yeah. We have our stage shows on this area, but the hands-on exhibits, you can go and play and have fun anytime. Well, Carrie, I had some fun here earlier with the zap machines, but tell me what's going on behind me in the theater. This is our DTE Energy Sparks Theater. In the stage show, you get to learn about magnets and then also electricity. It's the stage show that everybody knows about that makes your hair go crazy. Uh -huh. Behind us is the Centennial Lab. What are they doing in there? In the Centennial Lab, we do all all sorts of fun experiments. It changes up weekly when you come into uh, the Science Center. So the great, great thing is, like, especially if you're a member, is mm -hmm. when you come, there's always something new that you can learn. So we're going to walk into this beautiful globe. Looks like yep, this is world. our luminarium, which is part of the Waves and Vibrations Gallery. Mm -hmm. So this is all talking about how light behaves and colors and that kind like of how you can turn images upside down, how light refracts, and how you can make colors. This is on the way to Kids Town. Yes, right. and Kids Town is a special place just for kids that are five and under. And it's, it's their own little place where they get to go into a diner, to our center stage area, to going into the Dexter's Library, mm -hmm. and then also Picasso's studio. And then a favorite of mine is the Happy Tales Vet Clinic. The Vet Clinic. Yes. That's with the trans flag. I'm not going in there. <laughs> Because you've got like a real live kitchen right here in the Science Center. Yep, this is one of our many uh, demonstration spaces. It's the Nutrition Kitchen. I'm assuming they're learning how to eat healthy and eat right, right? Everything from eating <laughs> healthy to learning about cells, you name it. So I'm standing in one of the world's perhaps largest IMAX theaters? We, it, Michigan's only IMAX dome theater and also one of the largest movie screens in the state of Michigan. And it's always changing, you've always got new movies coming in. Yep, we usually then. have two to three films playing and usually at 11 o'clock on the weekends is when we have our child-friendly shows. This is the Dassault Systems Planetarium and we have three shows. It's a great part Not of your bad. day. yeah. So neat when all the lights go down too. Thanks. Started to come out. So tell me, where are we at now? This is called the... This is our Toyota Engineering Theater. Mm -hmm. It's a 4D theater. Uh, 4D? Yeah, so it's a, it's a mix of a theatrical show and a ride. As you can see, the seats move, and then they have lots of effects that come out of them. We send them down a whitewater rafting course. Um, we send them to the moon with a lunar rover. And all while they're doing that, they've got water spraying in their face. And things tickling them from behind and then the seats moving of course it just it's completely immersive how much fun <laughs> We are in our small exhibits gallery. It is our temporary space where we have regular exhibits, com smaller exhibits coming in and changing. And right now we have the special exhibit, Wish Upon a Butterfly. And one of the great things that's really cool about this exhibit is you get to feed the butterflies. And what it is, is we give you a special nectar solution to put on your fingers. And it totally attracts the butterflies to, to your fingers. And they use their feet um, as actually the tasters to ta for the nectar. So once so you have the delicate. nectar on you, you might, uh, you might have a friend for life. I do, I think he's my buddy. Well, 
Carrie, this is a lot of fun. I want to thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks for coming and checking us out. Yes, and we, of course, are next to the couch potatoes, <laughs> and these guys are a good example of what you don't want to become, which is why you come to the Michigan Science Center. Let's go. I love it. <laughs> Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. I'm Veronica Vance. And remember, if you would like more information on any of the places we visited, log on to visitdetroit.com. So until I see you next time, go out and explore on your own and discover the D. To learn about discounts and special offers for featured attractions, plus how to get copies of Visit Detroit magazine, click on visitdetroit.com. Production funding for this program was made possible by the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau, driving tourism growth in Metro Detroit since 1896. More information is available at visitdetroit.com.